Welcome back to Pacific Drive. Our medium term goal is to go through the wall here to get to the middle zone. Short term goal for me is to just explore the outer zone before I do that. There's quite a few locations I haven't discovered yet. First one I want to hit up is this. And since it's just one hop away, and takes just one energy to travel back from, I think it's an early game area that probably won't have much of interest. Looks like it has a spark surge. I don't know if I've ever seen that before, but yeah, it doesn't look particularly dangerous. So, gonna head there, and if I find anything of interest, I'll bring you back for it. Oh, we have a new fax, by the way. Sorry, looks like you got zone droned. Would you like to play again? Insert five cents to continue playing Zone Drone 3D. Zone Drone 3D, that sounds pretty cool. Back roads, remote, damp forest, outer zone. Spark surge, yeah, let's look at what that is. Spark towers in this part of the zone are overcharged, making them even more dangerous. Okay. And what does this place look like? There's very, very few houses. Looks like there's a gigantic mountain here. Well, that's interesting. It doesn't let me put a waypoint on the very, very tip. Like here, it puts it right where I click. But then as soon as I go to the very tippity top, it just like offsets it and puts it up here. That makes me curious if there's something up there or is that just a bug? Hey, wait a minute. What is that? Not recognized. Yeah, the very bottom there, not recognized. Okay, that's interesting. And we have three energy sources as well. Wait a second. What is that? Beating heart. Journal fragment date unknown. It's been at least two months now, and I'm the last member of our team left out here, totally lost. I've no idea what day it is, where I am, where I should be headed, even which way might be north. The roads themselves seem to be changing, and those barriers that the government installed open and close with a mind of their own. I don't know if I'm ever going to get out. I've only been able to keep going thanks to magical piles of semi-organic junk, that somehow knit the van back together after whatever thing smashed it apart last time around. I can get hit by electricity or dragged into a tree ten times over, but these things patch everything up better than any mechanic I ever knew. And then I just drive on into the forest once more, trying the next junction. That's the story of the last living member of the Bug Watch team, stuck out here forever because we came to record a dumb show about insects. Damn. What a fate. What if they made it out one day? So it sounds like they're actually good? I mean, shall we try it? The car is actually slightly damaged. Um, you can see the health bars. Everything's very slightly damaged, not a big deal. I'm a little bit scared. Do I just get near it? Ugh. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this is nice. It's kind of pretty. I wonder if it heals me, too. Yeah, look at that. All our parts are maxed. Uh, oh. Not all of them. The front ones are. Maybe I need to drive closer to get the back ones. Let's see. Oh, did it run out of energy or something? Maybe it can only heal you a certain amount. Still. That's... Is that the first anomaly I've seen that's explicitly helpful? We're almost to the unidentified thing. Let's go see what it is. 
I see a yellow light. Up in the trees? Some sort of antenna? Mysterious audio recording. Zone receiver. Arta briefing. Recorded in 1970. Okay, everyone. The new receiver designs are ready, and I promise these ones won't be so edible. I'm being quite serious here, folks. Last year's rash of signal-hungry anomalies, the ones that would chow down on anything broadcasting across lower bands, absolutely tanked our comms budget and cut hundreds of us off from the outside world. The alloys we're using now, combined with the new standard frequencies, mean nothing's going to be chewing up our broadcasts anymore. Now let's get these deployed as soon as possible and make sure each has a recording gash fitted, and get those parts welded on tight, not letting another one of these fall into the hands of that self-proclaimed guerrilla radio group. Who knows what kind of nonsense signals they're picking up from the outside world, or even worse, beaming out. It's on all our heads if that happens again. Dr. Ophelia Turner is standing next to President Koch, the top of her head barely clearing his shoulder. She stands, stiff back, her hazel eyes affixed on the glass and steel chamber in front of her. She does not appear to breathe until a ball of light appears out of thin air. The sight is tremendous, a lightning bolt frozen mid-strike and the reaction immediate. The gathering audience roars with excitement and spontaneous applause. On Dr. Turner, only a tightening of her lips indicates that she hears the audience at all. Dr. Turner and President Koch pose for a picture, and she does not smile even then. That picture is the image splashed across newspapers and science journals for the next decade. The mother of Lynn technology, they called her. The angel of a new age. The newspapers at that time laid the titles on thick while peddling the impending utopia. Then she recedes into the bowels of a government research facility. She's never seen again in public. There are scant appearances here and there in blink and you miss a promotional videos and blatant propaganda fodder. And then she and the promise of Lynn technology disappear. Seismic squall. Sometimes the very ground itself is the most threatening part of the zone. Something beneath it has changed, and during times of instability, everyone and everything on the surface can be at risk. Whoa. Ow. Uh, yeah, so this is the top of the mountain. You can get up there on foot. It's extremely steep. So there's a seismic squall up here, obviously, but besides that, uh, besides that, I feel like there's got to be something, right? There's got to be something. Ooh, 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 what's that? Wow, oh, that's something, but nothing I can do anything with. We just discovered Anomaly Studies number 6. I'm curious what the sound is, though. This, like, warning sound. Arda... 
something something uh, localized patches of this anomaly appeared throughout fringe areas of the zone between 1967 and 68. Thin, waist-high, grass-like structures would spring up overnight. These were topped with variously colored bulbs that would frequently combust with the slightest friction. This anomaly was aggressively cold whenever it was found and has not been reported since 68. Oh, I think the warning sound meant that there's a storm closing in. You can see the yellow thing here and it's getting closer and closer. The red is probably going to be following behind it. Alright, we need to get these two power sources quickly and get out of here. Whoa, that's new. Wait, where did that come from? That just teleported here. This warning message is freaking me out. Well, this might be a little bit tight. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for all the energy. Oh, I don't have time for you. Whew. For a basic starter zone, that was a bit terrifying. And I saw a surprising amount of new stuff. Oh, well, we got uh, 4.7 stable energy. That's really good. Plugs. They use limb technology to stake down pockets of stability in an area. Basically, they delay how quickly you're turned into Swiss cheese out there. By the way, I discovered at some point that you can close this. Fix up that junker. You should while I'm still in the mood to allow it. And there's the test track behind the garage. If you need to take anything for a spin. Thing of beauty. Just upgraded our antenna, so now we can scan two locations. Let's install the matter regenerator. It's going to cause components left in the shop to passively repair. I don't think I actually need that at the moment, but it is a prerequisite for some other things. Let's install another side rack. And let's craft a limb pulse emitter, which is basically a thing that will make anything that's attached to my car fall off. So I think probably the abductors and those ball things that stick to my car, this probably will take care of them. Oh, it goes in place of a bumper. Interesting. Does it function as a bumper as well? I want to give off-road tires a try. They're worse for on-road performance, but they should be way better for off-road performance. And I find myself off-road probably, I don't know, at least 25% of the time during missions. Maybe more. Oh, we also have a fax. No, man, you don't get it. It's not that I can't sleep. It's that since coming here, I don't need to sleep. I haven't felt tired in six years. Trying to figure out how to pay me a visit? Don't bother. By regular standards, I'm about 10 miles west of you. In zone terms, consider me on another planet. There's a valley of perpetual instability in closing my corner of the zone, and yes, I chose to live here for that exact reason. <sighs> Leave an old woman in peace. Time for another trip. I want to see what's here. We've been here before, but I never went to this place. So we have to head to E4 first, but I doubt there's much to see there. Now leaving E4, which we've already been to, for a new place. E3, Farms. Said zone condition, something's moving. And then a picture of something that looks kind of like a specter. Hmm. 
What have we got? Oh, hold on. Something's moving. This part of the zone definitely seems to have something creeping out there amongst the trees. Oh, fuck me. Do you think it's the pointing thing? That we heard about? We have train tracks. Looks like we have a couple rivers, actually. Yeah, definitely residential. This looks promising. Out in the middle of nowhere, it looks like it's a fancy art of place. That could have really good loot. Couple power sources. A lot of potential exits. Can't use any of them right now, of course. Well, I say we go just straight ahead and just like... Let's check out this gas station first. Gas stations tend to have interesting things. Hell of a storm. And something's lurking in the woods. Oh, the off-road tires seem to be very nice, by the way. It is noticeably slower. On, uh... What's going on over there? I'll check that out in a minute. It's noticeably slower on pavement. But I think it's worth it. Oh, I, hmm. I might be too far to fill up. I don't know how far this nozzle goes. Yep, I lost it. Eh, yeah, whatever. I, I really don't need fuel, to be honest. Thank you. It thinks I need light, which would be true if I didn't have this flashlight with me. Technically not a flashlight, that's actually a separate research item. What the hell does that say? CM... What? It looks like an M. Is it supposed to be Chef? Is that supposed to be an H? Chef friend? I don't know. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. There's more than just that tower. Oh, there's some pillars. Oh, crap. Can I break it with this? Yeah, that's gonna take forever. Wait, hold on. I have a liberator, which I picked up. I just looted it. I didn't even make it. Is this... Gonna go. Oh. Yeah, that works. I think the weird stuff I was seeing was a combination of like the sign and the tower and maybe a lefty left right or whatever that is over there. God, I love the atmosphere of this. It's so apocalyptic. But yeah, is this thing basically just a gun? Pretty much. Doesn't seem to have a huge range. No. That brings up some interesting ideas, though. What if I killed certain things? Wait a minute. Thermosap crystal? You get thermosap crystals from these? I know, I need, like, 60 of those. Um. Okay, well, they seem to be quite rare. Is there any other way to destroy them that will leave me with more materials? I mean, a scrapper would be ideal, but obviously they would blow up in my face, right? Done a bit of looting. 
Let's go get these power sources now. Go off roading with these new off road tires. They have way more traction. Ooh, these have good loot. I think I just heard birds. Oh, look at that. Paints, cosmetics, food. Bunch of decals. Crude bumper. I don't think I need that. Oh, got an achievement. Art a record keeper. Discover 300 logbook entries. Well, they've come to gather around my car. Thank you. Keeping it warm. are always must loots. Yeah, they typically have log entries. The Mailman 3. Are you kidding me? Someone's pouring liquid into the Numa tube system. Usually it's coffee. Other times it's cough syrup or soap solutions. I'm baffled. Firstly, why? Secondly, everyone's denied responsibility. We installed sensors to trace its source, and as far as we can tell, the liquid just appears. There are no entry points, no cracks in the tube, no leaks in packages. How is this possible? It's a series of tubes, no fancy limb shenanigans. I need to get to the bottom of this immediately. I wonder if the off-road tires allow us to go up steeper things. Yeah. Okay, let's go, let's go. Hmm. Well, okay, let's first stop you from rolling back into the electricity. I need something to throw at them. Should have a ton of flares. Ah. Oh, Christ. Ah. Okay. I want to check out this place. That's remote enough that I feel like it must be significant. We'll head here and then all the way across here.
love these chill moments. Radio playing. Rain falling. Whoa! Traps springing. Ooh, I think one of our headlights broke. Or did it? I'm not sure. Oh, hey, Numatube. Decal Arda, decal Black Stripes. Should be able to head for that Arda facility after we're over the bridge. Yeah, let's actually go from the road. Hurricane Squall. Hold on. Where was that? There. Sudden dramatic change in atmospheric pressure has produced powerful but extremely localized winds. Be careful, this could be extremely dangerous. Yeah, I never encountered that before. Is it going to, like, push me off the road? Oh. Oh, my whole car's red. That's not good. Oh, whoa, we are being pushed. Yeah, those winds are fierce. Ah! Oh, I think that's the sound. No, come on. That's the sound of the storm coming. I need to check this place out now. And then get the hell out of here. Is the storm coming? I'm not sure. Rather not find out. Oh, hold on. There. Guess I'm not going that way. Gear into duct tape. gonna do a quick loot. I'm not gonna break things down. Oh, yep, there is. There is a storm coming. Alright. Let's go. Oh, my vehicle protection is compromised, so I'm actually receiving radiation and getting hurt from this. Um, I should be okay. Just 
keep going straight and then when I'm quite a bit closer turn off the road and just go straight for the gateway Ooh, the red is actually pretty close to us because we're not really heading away from it we're kind of heading around the rim yeah let's let's turn off now get me the hell out of here wait hold on what's that purple thing I don't have time for it but what is it it's like a purple triangle get way too close no that's not it come on the scroll's so slow not recognized oh fuck Okay, I'll, I'll need to come back here. I need to know what that is. Ooh, my car is in extremely poor shape. 4.6 energy. Maybe you ought to give that car a facelift before heading back out. Yeah. We have a new fax. I'm not alive. I'm not sentient. I just believe that I am. You know a uh, odd. Let's install a backseat rack. So I think it functions the same as a side rack. Except it's inside. Let's also install yet another side rack. Let's install a lightning rod. So when there's lightning, that will suck up the juice and use it to recharge my battery. Unfortunately, I don't have enough stuff to make anything to fill the other two racks, the seat rack and the side rack, but I'm planning to put some other battery-related things because right now my battery is quite small and gets depleted super fast just from having my headlights on. Well, I'm all ready to go on my next adventure, but I'm going to save that for the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to head up north to explore this area here.